All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Akeem, here to give you a scout report on Carlos Watkins, the defensive tackle coming from the national champion, Clemson Tigers. I think this is going to be an interesting prospect for this year's NFL draft. Now, he does have a lot of experience hailing from Marsboro, uh, Morrisboro, North Carolina decided to become a Clemson Tiger in which he does have five years of experience during his time at Clemson but he did have to deal with an injury in 2013 in which he did suffer due to a one side car accident in which he did, he did have the death of his cousin which was a tough loss and he had to deal with some recovery during that time but he did actually come back and emerge as a good player starting in 2015 in which he registered 34 tackles, 7.5 of tackles for loss and three and a half sacks but then this past season in which the team did win their national championship he did have 50 tackles 13 and a half tackles for loss and 10 and a half sacks earning first team off ACC honors and second team all American honors according to the Associated Press now it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses first his strengths definitely has a good solid frame as far for his build he's six foot three 305 pounds and I think he's in well shape for his position and I think he could distribute well on well and with his mass at the next level now I do also like the fact that he has good broad shoulders and he's kind of quite strong he did have 25 reps at 225 pounds at the scouting combine now he does have um, improved awareness of which he did improve during his career as his career progressed his his productivity progressed especially when you look at 2014 2015 and 2016 in which he got more playing time mind you he did come back from that injury during because of the car accident now he does have some weaknesses though there are times where he does struggle against double cup double uh double team teams in which we've seen that a lot during the matches against Alabama Crimson Tide and the national championships which draws a little bit concerns for me because of the fact that you're dealing with with a more NFL caliber team like Alabama which he did struggle against them he might struggle at the next level he needs to improve with that now sometimes he could depend too much on his feet and his power as opposed to using more Austin using more movement using more technique and different moves to get his way around blockers and even through the gaps now he does have pretty good vision and visualizing the run, the run attack he has good lateral movement as well as agility to even um, get back into the gaps to cover up gaps if, this, if a running back decides to cut back, which is another great trait about him. Now, he does have a couple more weaknesses, though, that I did actually look out. Now, other weaknesses that he does have, that he can be, um, um, be a little bit too excessive in which he can overrun um, um, plays sometimes, and he sometimes he could get overpowered by bigger, powerful guards, which is a little bit of a concern because the guards are actually able to get leverage on him. Sometimes he could be stand up a little bit too tall in which the guards, powerful guards, guards could get into that pad level and latch onto the block and latch completely onto the block on him. He does need to work on that just a little bit more. Now overall for my evaluation, I actually project him as a late third round pick at best or in the fourth round of this year's draft, but that's actually going to be a decent pick. I do wish him the best. I think this is a good player. He is the second team all American honors which is which is a great thing but I think he just needs to work on a little bit as far as the double teams and sometimes and even getting better leverage overall those were areas that I'm most concerned about and that's why I had to bump him back into the late third round or in the fourth round of this year's draft now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes I have three more blogs for today thank you for watching this blog I'm your man Akeem McCall be easy